What's up guys? I hope you are keeping well. Let's look at how to successfully migrate to the UK as a senior carer. All the processes you have to go through if you want to work as a senior carer in the UK. We are going to delve deep into the current requirements, how to successfully apply for senior carer jobs online, and how to apply for your health and social care visa online as well. My name is Mordecai. I'm currently a registered nurse in the UK. Prior to this, I worked as a senior carer for six months. Now, when I had my NMC pin, I started working as a registered nurse in a private care home. Currently, I'm working as a registered nurse with an NHS hospital. You are welcome to this YouTube channel. It's nature and lifestyle. Kindly subscribe if you haven't done so. And for all those who have subscribed already, thank you very much for subscribing and making this YouTube channel grow. Please, um, if you have any question, just comment in the comment section and share this video, like this video as well. I've had a lot of questions in my DM. People asking me, Modi, what is the first process to start with when you want to work as a senior carer in the UK? What is the first thing to do? Guys, the first process is gathering all your requirements. Gathering all your requirements. That is the first process. Now, with regards to the requirements, the first one is your English proficiency. With regards to your English proficiency, there are several ways of proving that you are proficient in the English language. And one of those ways is um, using the International English Language Test System, which is the IELT exams. With regards to your, the IELT exams, you are expected to get a band score of at least four. But guys, I will personally advise you to aim for a band score of five or above, okay? A band score of five and above. That is my personal advice to you. This is because I have visited websites of some recruiting agencies who are asking for a band score of five. Others are also asking for a band score of at least 5.5. So this is just a personal advice to you with regards to the out requirements if you want to apply for a senior carer job. Then you can also use the NAREC certificate to prove that you are proficient in the English language. I have a video on this YouTube channel about how to apply for the NAREC certificate, all the processes you have to go through. I'll leave the link to that video in this video description so you can check this for yourself. With regards to the NAREC certificate, those who are eligible are people with first degree, master's, or PhD. So degree masters of or PhD holders are eligible to apply for the NAREC certificate. If you have diploma or um, certificate, then please, you are not eligible to apply for the NAREC certificate. The next requirement for senior carers is international driving license, international driving license. With regards to the driving license, guys, it is optional because it's not all care homes, hospitals, or recruiting agencies that will ask you to get an international driving license. But if you get it, it is helpful, okay? It's helpful because you don't know um, if the recruiting agency will ask for this or not. So this is optional. Another requirement is getting your vaccinations done. Guys, in this day and age where there are a lot of um, pandemics, okay, we have COVID-19 and currently there is monkeypox, which is, you know, currently spreading. So most recruiting agencies, hospitals and care homes in the UK would want you to get all your vaccinations done. And the, with the vaccinations, they are mainly your COVID-19 vaccine, your hepatitis B vaccine, your um, mom's um, measles vaccine, okay? So just get your basic vaccinations done. Uh, most care homes, hospitals and recruiting agencies will ask you to get this done. Another requirement is you need a direct patient care experience. At least one or two years of this experience is good. Let me start with those who are not healthcare professionals. If you are not a healthcare professional and you want to travel to the UK to work as a senior carer, 
it is compulsory for you to do a voluntary work or an attachment with a hospital or any other health facility to get this direct patient care experience. When you go to the hospital, try and work directly with patients on the ward, assisting them to do their personal care, assisting them with feeding, with mobility, with continence care, and also other activities of daily living. These are what we call direct patient care experience, okay? When you get your experience, you just put it on your CV. For those who already work in the hospital, if you are a nurse, a mental health nurse, a community uh, health nurse, or an enrolled nurse, or even a midwife, okay, the scope of your work shows that you have direct patient care experience. But if you work in a hospital and you are working in the account department, in the pharmacy department, or in the x-ray department, I would advise you to move to the ward and do a couple of shifts, okay, with the nurses there and learn about how to do personal care, how to do activities of daily living, how to feed patients, how to assist patients with their continence care, how to assist patients with mobility and other social activities. What care homes and hospitals in the UK are looking from you is you getting direct bedside patient care experience. This is very, very important. And I repeat, you need one or two years of this experience. Another requirement is a cover letter. You need this cover letter from the hospital you are working with, and it should be on the hospital's official letterhead. The letter should be written by either your nurse manager, your DDNS, your matron, or the medical doctor you are working with, okay, can write this cover letter. And it should just confirm that one, you are a staff in the hospital, you've been working in the hospital, they should state the number of years, they can state the words that you've worked with, they can also write some complimentary things about you, that you are hardworking, you are tactfulness, um, you have zeal about the nursing work, okay, you are a team player. So it's just to write things that shows that you are working in a hospital and you are of good behavior or, or good character as a healthcare worker. Another requirement is doing health and social care courses online. Guys, if you do this, it boosts your chances of getting senior carer jobs in the UK. And for those who are not healthcare professionals, I will say this is compulsory for you. You have to do these courses. Now the health and social care courses, there are about 12 to 15 of them, okay? And some of these courses are about manual handling, basic life support, continence care, fire and safety, um, adult safeguarding, um, we also have courses about infection prevention and control. There are several health and social care courses what, online that you have to do. When you finish with these courses, they are, you are given certificates, okay? And you can put this on your CV to enrich your CV. And again, it will boost your chances of getting senior care jobs in the UK. Now, these health and social care courses, I will leave a link in this video description where you can do them, okay? I'll leave a link in this video description where you can do your health and social care course. The next requirement is a valid traveling passport. And if your passport is going to expire very soon, I would advise you to renew the passport. Guys, you don't want to get stuck in the middle of the process. And this is a personal advice to you, okay? If your passport is going to expire very soon, please renew it. Another requirement is a modern day CV, a current CV or resume. This is very important. So I had a chat with a UK recruiter and what the person said was most CVs submitted are a cake. And when, even when they are modern day, the skills doesn't go with that of the responsibilities of a senior carer. So on the world, we do a lot of things. You have a lot of skills as a nurse or a midwife, okay? In your CV to apply for senior care job, they are not looking for your advanced nursing skills, no. They are not looking for advanced nursing skills or advanced midwifery skills like 
the, the, the suturing you did, like the number of deliveries you've done, or that IV medication you did. No, they are not looking for that in your CV. Now, for senior carers, mostly what they do is assisting patients with activities of daily living. These are simple responsibilities or skills. Assisting patients with the activities of daily living. Example, feeding the patient on the ward. Assisting patient with continence care, with repositioning, okay? Assisting patient with uh, personal care, that is uh, bathing, grooming, and dressing the patient. Assisting patient to mobilize. Assisting patient with their um, social activities. These are what um, senior carers or senior healthcare assistants will do. So you have to make sure that you state this in your CV. Even if you add extra things, first state these activities or responsibilities of senior carers before you bring the you know, big advanced skills that you have. Because they are not looking for somebody who can administer IV medication uh, for a senior carer job. That is not the person they are looking for. So you have to make sure that the skills you state in your CV goes with the responsibilities of senior carers. Let's now look at how to successfully search and apply for senior carer jobs online. And here we are looking for healthcare assistant or senior carer job with visa sponsorship. Senior carer jobs with visa sponsorship. Guys, the truth is it is not easy to find these jobs online. It is not easy, but it is still possible to get senior carer jobs online. I will advise you never to give up on your search. You have gathered your document. You've come a long way to this point, okay? And when it's time for you to search for jobs, no matter how difficult is it, don't give up. Never give up. Keep on searching. The first thing you have to do is you have to search aggressively. You have to be very, very aggressive on the internet searching for senior carer jobs. Guys, there are a lot of YouTube videos about care homes, hospitals, and recruiting agencies that are looking for overseas healthcare professionals to employ as senior carers in the UK. Anytime you see such video, just go straight to the video description and um, open the website or whichever email address which is there. Just send your CV, inform them that you have experience in the healthcare sector. Tell them you've done your English requirement. Also tell them that you've done your health and care course online. Okay, just tell them things that will convince them to what? to invite you for interview and also employ you as well. So never give up on your job search. Be very, very aggressive. It doesn't matter. It doesn't cost a penny when you're applying for these jobs. So just apply for 10, 20, 30, or even 40 because you don't know which recruiter or which employer that is going to respond to your job application. So aggressively apply for the jobs online, okay? Now, another thing you can do is also register with uh, this job listing site, okay? Job listing site, such as Indeed, Job Rapido, um, such as uh, Total Jobs. We also have NHS Track, okay? Now, these are all major job listing sites. You can register with a job listing site and upload your CV. Also, submit your email address so that they can send you a um, notification whenever they post healthcare assistant job with Visa sponsorship. Let me quickly show you how you can do this. So we are going to visit indeed.com, which is one of the major job list listing sites in the world, okay? Indeed.com. I'm going to show you how to upload your CV and also how to set that email for, for a notification whenever anybody upload healthcare assistant job with this site. So let's head straight to Indeed. So guys, this is um, Indeed UK site, okay? Remember, Indeed is worldwide and we are looking for Indeed UK. I'm on Google now, okay? So I just Googled Indeed and this is the Indeed UK site. 
So I open the site now and it takes me to um, their website here. Now here I'm looking for healthcare assistant job with visa sponsorship, okay? So healthcare assistant job with visa sponsorship. I've been searching for healthcare assistant job. So the moment I type, it just came. So healthcare assistant tier two sponsorship. And I want the, the job anywhere in the UK. So I click find jobs here and I get some job here. Now I'm going to show you one, how to set your email for the uh, notification. Okay. So here, um, let me go back one so that I do this for you to see. Now, if you want to set your email for job notification on Indeed, when you open, you search, you have to first search for the job. Okay. You have to first search for the job. Now, when you search for the job and it opens for you, you click on this close button here. That is the times button on your right side. You click on it. Now, when it closes, it says here, get new jobs for this search by email. Get new jobs for this search by email. So you just put your email address here. Then you click on send me new jobs. Okay. So when you click on this, what happens is anytime any company posts a healthcare assistant tier two, uh, sponsorship jobs okay you will get an email notification from indeed okay then you apply for those jobs now this is very 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 helpful this is very helpful another thing you can do is also to upload your cv and if you want to upload your cv on indeed you click on this message button here then it takes you to this this section now we here it says find job upload your cv so you click on upload your cv okay you when you click on this it opens here for you your contact information and this is where you upload your cv you upload your cv and you make it public this is very important when you make it public okay those uh, recruiting agencies care homes and hospitals who are looking for healthcare assistance will see your CV, they'll go through your CV, and if they are happy, they will give you the job. So this is one of the several ways that um, you apply for healthcare assistant job, okay? So guys, that is it. Now, let me just give this word of advice. There are a lot of people out there extorting huge amount of money from um, nurses, enrolled nurses, midwives, senior, uh, uh, community health assistant, and other people who are searching for uh, senior carer jobs, okay? People are extorting money. Guys, just be very, very careful, okay? Just be very careful about this. It is an illegal act. It is illegal act for anybody to charge you even one pound in the name of bringing you to the UK. Please be careful. It is illegal, okay? This is just an advice to you. When you apply for the job, and they are okay with your CV, they will invite you for an online interview. Now, during the interview, you have to perform very well for you to be picked because you may not be the only person applying for the job. You may be about 10, 15, or 20 people who are attending the interview, okay? So you have to perform very well at a job interview. I have a video on this YouTube channel about how to apply for um, nursing job interview. So you can watch that video as well. It is very helpful. And I'll leave the link to that video in this video's description. After your job interview, when you are successful, your company will apply for what we call certificates of sponsorship. That is COS. Now, in order to apply for this visa, you need to add some document to your certificate of sponsorship. I'll leave the link to the health and care worker visa application in this video description so you can check it also as well. Now on the UK government website, okay, they have stated that you need your English proficiency. That is, you need to prove your English language as part of the um, um, document. So you need either your IELTS certificate or you need your NAREC certificate, whichever one that you apply for. You also need your TB um, test certificate. In Ghana, it is done in Accra with the International Organization for Immigration. There are also institutions that do this TB test to issue TB test certificate across uh, every country, okay? So just look at the institution that has been approved by UKVI to do this. 
Another thing that you need is your valid traveling passport. You also need two passport size photographs, okay? You need two passport size photographs. So you add all these documents to your certificate of sponsorship, then you submit it to um, the UKVI office in your home country. When you submit these documents, you also um, do your biometrics, okay? You do your biometrics, and this is done by TLS Contact Service. That is the a service where, or the office where, they will collect your visa application document and also do your biometrics as well. So guys, um, this is uh, the whole information about all the processes you have to go through if you want to migrate from your home country to the UK to work as a senior carer. My name is Mordecai. This is Nature and Lifestyle. Thank you very much for coming to watch today's video. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe before um, you leave and share this video. If you have any question, you can join our Telegram page to ask your question or just ask your question in this video comment section. Thank you very much. See you with another video.